go. And, uh... Let me... Uh, now I'm blanking out. Ah, oh, okay. Let me just remove the bit from I forget. There we go. That's... All right. Okay, now we can go. All right, so we'll... But yes. Time for when they cry. Ready to continue. Enough. This is at the end of chapter six. We had so we have, like, new tips to... And, uh, okay, I recollect last time, um... There was, uh, you got the end of the, the festival they were doing, um, and we learned at the end that, at the tail end, that there was, that apparently why everyone was not wanting to talk about the murder or whatever that had happened at the dam was because afterwards they thought they number a person had died every year after since that murder that happened four years ago on the day of the festival and they thought it was the curse of the garden the uh, the guardian deity of the area was that what some what was like kind of the rumor because there it was all people that had something to do with the building of the dam or whatever so thus a, a threat to uh um place oh yeah so yeah these okay. These are all like the end. From the June 19, 1980 edition. On the afternoon of blank at 2 p.m. Office employee blank and his wife blank of Hinibizawa village in Shishibone prefecture disappeared after falling 27 meters from the observatory platform in Shirakawa prefecture. Police and firefighters searched downstream and discovered the body of Blank at around 7 p.m. that evening. His wife, Blank, has yet to be found. Oh, no worries. I... I probably need the recap because it's been a few days myself, so... Hmm. Yeah, I use that too. The search has run in difficulties due to the effects of Typhoon 3 from the previous day. It appeared a railing at the observatory that the blanks led on had broken, causing him to fall. The ground the groundskeeping staff was questioned by the police in regards to facility deterioration and if park maintenance was performed properly. Terminal incident of the Priest of the Shrine. From the June 1981 edition. During a blank around 10 p.m. in the blank of Hinamizawa Village in Shishibone Prefecture, Shinto Priest of the Shrine passed away after an existing condition he was recovering from suddenly worsened. 
parties close to the sea said he was suffering from anxiety issues concerning the festival, which was to be held that day. Also, after Blank's death, his wife Blank went missing, leaving behind a farewell note. The police and lo local youth association continued the search, however, given the presence of the farewell message and the fact that Onigafuchi Marsh is said to be bottomless, they have run into difficulties. Wasn't reported in the newspaper. Oh. It was just a thing that said it wasn't. Why wouldn't the murder of a house that been made the newspaper? That's suspicious. This is okay. Yama Station calling Unit 3. Unit 3, please respond. This is Unit 3. Loud and clear. Backup is heading your way. Hold position until further instructions. Over. Roger, Unit 3 acknowledged. Requesting no headlights. Requesting radio silence. Station, the doctor has arrived. They want to carry it away. What's the order? Over. Acknowledged. Leave it to the doctor. Affirmative. Understood. Backup has arrived. Don't we let them take a photo first? I think the Vic is done for. Okay, I'm guessing that must have been from the from the housewife. Yeah, apparently what was went was that basically everyone was sort of that it seems the reason why your friends didn't really want to acknowledge that there was a murder was because sort of like obviously if nothing happened then everyone was just like making connections or whatever that the curse wasn't real obviously and then you know uh then it's like okay just stuff all these happenings these events just happening on being coincidental that they're happening after the past few years. So kind of like a knock on wood type of thing. Oh, but now we'll move on. Good morning. Nice job yesterday, Kei-chan. You didn't do so badly yourself, Mil. Yesterday was fun. Oh, that's right, kei kun Thank you very much. For Mr. Bear. I'm glad you like it. Don't use a pincushion, though. I, I wouldn't. Still chatting happily, we entered the classroom. But the moment I stepped into the room, a splashing sound and a nasty sensation. It was a bucket filled to the brim with water. And unfortunately, my foot stepped right into it. My now, how diligent of you to mop the floor this morning. Clomp, 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 flip, whiff. Wah! Casey saw it flicked my forehead. You should set a more brutal trap next time. Saying that, Reyna began to swoop as Mion, uh, to swoon as Mion looked on dejectedly. Everything was the same as always. Everybody was there and nothing felt out of place. The uncertainties I'd had in the back of my mind since yesterday's had vanished. What is it, Keiichi-kun? Didn't get enough sleep, maybe? Maybe? Slept like a log, but if you want, I'll do a reenactment during class. You shouldn't do that. We on alert us that the teacher was coming, so everyone shuffled off to their seats. Good morning, everyone. The yesterday was the festival. Thank you to all the people who stayed until the very end to help clean up. We were all slackers, so none of us actually helped clean up. 
Actually, I had a feeling that the only thing we did was run around the festival and cause a ruckus. Okay then, this time of year you might see some people here from out of town doing interviews about the festival for magazines. I thought it was the usual stuff that I was going to tune out, but then I noticed the different tone in her voice. I started paying attention. You may be asked questions. Please don't say anything silly or something that could be taken the wrong way. Do you understand? And you said, everyone replied, yes, ma'am. What she said was really vague, but I understood what she was trying to say. After all, this was the fifth year. There were probably lots of third-rate reporters boring when something regarding the curse had happened. It did nothing but perpetuate the village's bad image. She was saying, don't spout stupid shit you think is funny. And now I was one of those who needed to keep their mouth shut. I found it rather cute how I felt a, si a sense of unity for such a trite thing, if I do so so myself. I was summoned to club activities after school. Since everybody was still pretty tired from yesterday, we just spent the day relaxing. Y yeah, that wasn't happening. Hey, let's play a classic game of deduction. How about this one? Oh, the game from overseas. Looks interesting. The instructions are the instructions are in English, but the rules don't seem that hard. I won't lose you here. I'm not too bad at this game. Seemed that Vreda didn't handle this kind of game very well. The rules are the the person who can match the murderer, weapon, and see and the scene of the crime wins. There are three kinds of cards comprised of suspects, weapons, and locations. You can see that the names Mion and Rico were written on the suspect cards. Okay, so they're like doing uh like a version of Clue. card with my name on it as well. Glad you're excited. Plenty of weapons too, like knives, axe, axes, and poison. The locations are pretty nice too. Like the living room, the study, and the courtyard. So basically, you take out one of you you take out one of each of the cards. These are the answer cards. We shuffle the re we shuffle the remaining cards and hand them out. We ask each other about the cards and figure out the right ones. Ah, I see. The cards nobody has are the true perpetrators. Then you raise your hand if you know the answer. The game ends and we check if the answer is correct. right, then you get a point. If you're wrong, then you lose a point. The game ends if no one gets it right. All the cards are gathered up and redistributed. You learn as you go. You really have to use your brain. You'll get confused if you don't take notes. The rest of you can figure out by playing. So, Mion, what's the penalty this time? Everyone directed their attention to Mion. Let's see. We're all still a little tired from yesterday. So maybe we'll take it easy with the gopher penalty. You'll be asked to rush out and buy stuff for everyone. So just being asked to go buy stuff like drinks and candy, I guess? I feel like, I feel like the penalty today is pretty simple. I wonder, is it really? Is Katie-san thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. You don't know what you'll have to go buy. I'm Ben Mion would send out whoever loses to buy stuff like hemorrhoid cream, or happy family, family planning manual, or other crazy stuff. The, 
cards were lightly shuffled and passed out to each player. The real perpetrator, the correct weapon, and the scene of the murder had been taken out. That means all the cards I have in my hand are innocent cards. Then I'll go first since I'm the club president, I guess. Well then. Neon, knife, study. Pick one suspect, weapon, and murder scene and ask each person. If you have any of those cards, then you must say, I have one. However, you don't need to say which one you have. Me too. I have one. Oh my. All of them are here. Three people answered when she asked if they had Mion, Knife, and Study. So that means that Mion and Knife and Study are all in the clear. Got to jot that down. Then I'll go. Reina, Axe, Lounge. Hmm. Only two people said they had that. They had one? So it means that of Reina. Axe and Lap. Axe and Lounge. One of them is correct and is part of the crime? No, wait. Even if they say they ha have one, they don't have to say how many. Fossil that I or Satoko or Rikachan has two of the cards. Well, Echan is next. Go ahead. Wait just a little. Still sorting things out. Game has, be has me thinking more than I thought. Oh man, this feels like it's gonna be tough. All right, now I have the criminal. What? Already? Her eye is spinning around in circles and Mio just now raises her hand. The murderer is Rikachan. In the infirmary with the poison. Well, it's just poison, poison. Running deep inside my veins. Mion drew the cards from the box and we checked to see if her deduction was right. You were right! Uh, all I needed was one more hand. I couldn't tell whether it was poison or a pistol. I never use a pistol. I like killing them slowly with poison. That's that's the the uh, the. I think that's that counts as like a horror movie bingo <laughs> type. Small cute child says something creepy and disturbing. <laughs> Rika, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, Rika, yes. Rika said such a hugely terrifying thing with such a sweet little face. Everyone was making commotion about how they almost had it. Rain and I were left out in the cold, though. How did you do, Kei kun I couldn't get it at all. Don't worry. I had no idea either. Can you both be so unsure? You'll both end up in last place together at this rate. It's even worse off buying something together as a couple. But if we end up having to buy the happy family planning guide. <laughs> oh dear. I can tell from Keiichi's expression that he's not very good at this game. But that's not true. I'll show you the true power of Sherlock, my bara, during the next round. My, my, that sounds just wonderful. I shall give you quite the thrashing.
After that, I managed to somewhat craft the trip trick behind the game, but I was still always a step or two behind. I saw that Mion was somehow gleaning information from the others for asking questions. I'm hardly ever asking their questions. That level of experience was just too much. The only way I could stage a comeback was if I became ruthless. I tossed out the simple conception of deduction and switched over to the thought process needed to win. The important thing isn't to find out the criminal. It's to win the g at the game. Eureka! Uh, sorry, need to go to the bathroom. Take your... Take your time and squeeze out a nice one. Oh, good grief. Michan, that's gross. I hope I had them hold off the game and headed down the hall. The air was crisp. It showed just how stagnant the air in the classroom was from our body heat. On the school ground, some of our classmates were still playing around. After spending some time cooling my head, Reina had made her way towards me. Did you, go, did you call for me? Yeah, I did. As I got up from my seat, I winked over at Reina. I'm glad it worked out. To waste much time, but I'll get right to the point. Reina, what's your record at this game we're playing today? He was taken aback. After a moment, she hesitantly opened her mouth. Well, all losses. Why do you ask, I wonder? I wonder? You could tell from how principally she was playing. The way things are going, I will as well. Can't figure out how to pull off a last minute comeback on this one. So I guess both of us will be taking that penalty. Hey, hey, don't accept defeat already. How about we win this? Both of us. But how can we? I brought my lips up to Reina's ear. Whisper, 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 whisper. Is that allowed? Did you forget, Reyna, the second rule of our society? Do ev everything in your power to obtain victory. Y yeah, I'll try my best. Our plan of attack was quite a rudimentary one. At the beginning of the game, everyone would be focused on their own hand for all, taking notes and whatnot. Since our seats were right next to each other, We'd reveal our hands to each other. If we did under the desk, then nobody would know. Press X to doubt. <laughs> We'd begin the game with twice as much information as everyone else. Having as much information would mean we'd need to investigate less. With this sort of plan of attack, we start off with a big lead over the other guys. Y yeah, with this we could probably win. We both smirked at each other. I was the shady businessman, then Reyna was the corrupt senator. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Let's hurry back. We'll work as a duo to surprise everyone. Hey now, there's no... If we go back together, we'd like flat out telling them we made a little arrangement. Oh, sorry. What should we do? Go back ahead of me, Reyna. I'll take my time coming back after washing my face or something. Okay, got it. Reina turned around and headed to the classroom. Guess I should wait a little bit, a bit longer before coming back. I went too soon. It wouldn't seem like I went to the bathroom. Me and one of them suspected something, then there could be problems. Oh, they'd figure out sooner or later, because both Reina and I would start winning over and over again. Both Reina and I will have earned enough points to avoid being the losers by the time Mion realized what was happening. Excellent. Not bad at all. My barracoon, may I have a moment? It's the teacher. And things were just getting good. What is it? I'm a bit... You have a guest. Just make your way to the entrance. Guest? Not like I own a hotel. They have been waiting. Please hurry. It was unfortunate that I'd have someone waiting on me right before my big match. But I was more interested in the unexpected guest. I didn't waste any time, so I decided to take care of it quickly. The entryway was a heavy contrast from the hot sunlight and deep shadows. Waiting there, looking uncomfortably warm, was a middle-aged man. His tie sloppily loosened, and his jacket tucked underneath his arm. 
you my bara son. Hichi my bara son. There's no question that he wasn't aware of Himizawa. This was without a doubt the first time he had met me. Ever since I met tomitaki son, I've been running into so many middle-aged men. That's right, who might you be? I have the AC on in my car, let's talk there. It's a bit hot here, don't you think? Man, completely ignoring my question, pointed over to his car parked near the gate and began walking. Got to be kidding me. I don't. I have no intention of going along with some geezer I don't even know. They asked me to get in his car with him? Not going to bite. Come on now. He opened the back door of his car and pulled me over. Helped, yeah, and called me over. I can't like this old man, but I wanted to know what this was about. Even while knowing that the conversation that started out like this never had, have never led to anything good. The inside of his car was pretty cool. Cars with air conditioners were supposed to be a luxury. My dad didn't have one in his car, at least. Please let me know for you if it's too cold for you, okay? I have a habit of cranking it all the way up. So, what business do you have with me? Out of spite, I decided to ignore his remark in the same question, the same way he did to me, start my own line of questioning. He pulled out a notepad from his pocket and took out a picture that was stuck between the pages. On it was the face of a pretty goofy-looking guy. If you know anything related to this individual, then please let then please tell me. Who the heck is this? I doubt even his close friends would be able to recognize who this was. This expressionless picture that looked like it was taken at a DMV. There were scribbles. On his shirt done in permanent marker. Starting with your... There were scribbles on his shirt done in permanent marker. Starting with yours, my bar son, and quite a few of your classmates si Of your classmates signed as well. Huh? This is... umataki san There was no hint of his un usual unreliable and easygoing personality in this photo. It was an expressionless, half-asleep face. Uh, I don't think he's asleep. Then do you know that? Then do you know this woman? Or seeing it, I had a good idea of who it was. I don't remember her name, but she's some lady who was with Tomotake-san last night. I didn't know what her name was, but I did know she was a resident of Hinamizawa. When was the last time you saw these two? The night of the Wat Watanagashi, we spoke. Oh, that's the name of the festival, right? That was Watanagashi. They seem pretty close, I guess. Anything bother you about them? Anything is fine. Go ahead and say it. Being asked for every little detail is pretty very troubling, honestly. I got a pretty good idea of who this guy was by now. Did something happen to them? There was no response to my inquiry. Thus, I replied to that silence and kind. I was pretty sure, no, certain, that this guy was a cop. And why? Why was he asking about Tomotake-san? Did something happen to him? More importantly, why me? Couldn't there have been plenty other people who knew more about him than I did? The roar of the air conditioner felt unbearably loud. After a long pause, he finally spoke again. You've moved here just recently, isn't that right, my bara son? You aware, I wonder, about the stories of Oyashiro-sama? Oh, that's the name of the local ED. My heart began to race. Be terrible at hiding things. Always showed on my face. Not at all. You don't, then that's fine. Well, I have heard of it. Matake san told me actually how much do you know about it? The dismemberment killing, the accidental death, the death by illness followed by suicide, the lady who was beaten to death. The incidents that always happened the day of the Watanagashi 
ending in suspicious death. I didn't think Tomotake-san would have kept anything from me. I think that was everything. Oh, rather, I didn't want to think there was anything more than that. Do you know of, of that well? First, my Barasan. Feel free to... Feel free to sp speak openly about it. I don't believe it. My answer was instant. Was it so much that I didn't believe in it? I was on the verge of believing. I wanted to clear away my doubts. That was the more prominent feeling. Really? And that's great. Yes, you really are one of those city raves boys. Boys. But what if I don't believe? I am afraid and waiting's waiting. But could you get to the point? The man in this pic the man in this picture is dead. Ooh. I did. Yeah. Kind of figure out the show. The half asleep, expressionless face of, of someone you know. Oof. My mind went blank. What happened to Tomotake san? It would seem that he died last night. That was the night of the Watanagashi. Do you understand the implications behind that, my Barasan? Implications? Not any at... Not any for the cause of his death or the reasons behind it. Your problems when he died on the day of the Watanagashi. Meaning this year, the curse of Oyashiro-sama Oyesh once again... The death of Jiro Tomotake is still confidential. You can understand why that is, right? I didn't want to understand why. Please tell me. Tell me what happened. It was rather peculiar. Might be a little too graphic for someone born and raised in Inamizawa. It's a roundabout way of saying it, but it caused me to doubt whether or not I wanted to hear the rest. I would only regret forcing myself to learn of something I shouldn't. Or at least that's how I figured I would I would feel if I listened to the rest. One of our patrol guards discovered the body on the way back from his security detail at the festival. It was late, about five till midnight. The location was, um, you know the road where the road in a town becomes paved, right? Down past the slope on the shoulder around there. There were a few street lights on that road. Its pitch black darkness was only broken by the lights of passing cars and the moon. The stroke of bad luck that Tomitake-san was spotted collapsed on the shoulder of the road. Tomitake-san was face down, covered in blood. Blood and muck covered the asphalt. We thought it was a hit and run at first, but when the officer checked to see if he was still alive, he quickly noticed something abnormal. His throat had been ripped open. From a knife or something? No. Nails. Nails? Is it fingernails? Those... He clawed through? From the coroner's report, it was revealed that it was with his own nails. Damn! What, what does that mean? Basically means it wasn't a murder. It was suicide. Tomitake-san thought there was a reason to tear open his own throat as hard as he could with his own nails. Tore through the skin until he started to bleed, and even then, Tomitake-san didn't stop. He continued clawing, with enough intensity that he could have peeled off his nails still clawing. Still clawing. Then, as his nails reached those vital arteries that you should never damage continued clawing splurt blood splattered on the ground around him as he bled while gasping for breath he collapsed his body spasmed and he died in agony he threw out drugs were to blame but nothing of that nature was detected this was a suicide never heard of such a thing 
It's a natural way of dying. If this wasn't a mysterious death, then what was? But when he died, these five years, his death most resembled that of a curse. If to show both myself and Tomitake-san who claimed there was no such thing as a curse, we were wrong. There were a few more suspicious details. From his body, he grimacing, perspiration, epilation, and so on, we concluded that he was in a, in a state of hysteria right before his death. That, w that was a given. Hard to believe someone could be in a state of sound mind while clawing out their own throat. But uh, how could they tell that? I do have to... I, I'm... I mean, you could say maybe an mistake of well, my maybe paid a payment, which I like, you know, expression or something like that that you find them in. <coughs> I spelled it wrong. Mm. Wounds on his hands match a discarded piece of lumber found nearby. There, there are traces of where he struck trees and the guardrails with it. Omitake's blood was found all over the place, meaning that while tearing at his own throat, he was swinging around a piece of lumber. Her external injuries were not self-inflicted, discovered on Tomitake-san. There is a high probability Tomitake-san was assaulted. The external injury suggests there may be multiple suspects. To summarize, Tomitage-san was surrounded and attacked. While wandering the night roads in a state of panic, after being cornered, picked up a piece of lumber and tried fighting back. Somewhere in there, he began madly tearing at his own throat, clawing at it. Then he died. Presumed time of death was around 9... 9.23 p.m. It's not around, that's like exact. Meaning it occurred right after you finished talking to Tomitake-san at the festival. One signed Tomitake-san's shirt and parted ways. Right after that. Yeah. Should have been with a woman. What about her? He's missing. He hasn't shown up to work, and she hasn't returned home either. A very high probability that she was involved in this incident. For a while, I could only gaze off into space. Never would have thought that something unfortunate hap happening to somebody close to me would affect me this deeply. The time I had spent with Tomitake san was short, but we went to the same festival, spent time together, and took part in the same competition. He was one of us. We have been continuing the investigation on various fronts. When it comes to Oyashira-sama's curse, the villagers here aren't very cooperative. That I knew well. I would have been none the wiser if not for Tomotake-san, the outsider telling me. So that's why you came to me? Because I'm not originally from Hinamizawa? Should have been angry that that was the reason he wanted to hear what happened from me things go the way they have been, then the conclusion would be that Jiro Tomitake died from Oyashirosama's curse. He turned away from me and gazed off, gazed far off into the distance. The night of the Watanagashi, during that sacred ritual, he callously snapped off photos, angering Oyashirosama. That's how it's going to turn out. No way Oyashirosama would inflict divine punishment on Tomitake-san, Tomitake san had, had to have been killed by humans, and a cowardly group no less. No way I'm going to end up let, let this end up being the fault of some curse. I think so as well. No such thing as divine punishment or curses. The tense mood was cut with the man's hearty laugh. Oh. Yay, we have raiders! Hello raiders, hello! Hello, 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 hey! 
Don't call me chicken. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh and thank you for getting him selfie. I am... Uh, I am... Uh, hey, hey, hey. Um, I am virtually cobalt. I am... I am a variety streamer. I do a number... Like, do a number of uh, things of different games. Uh, right now we're doing the visual uh, novel uh, Higurashi. Uh, when they cry. Um, which uh, should actually put this, but um, it does have some content that would that might. Um, there's like murder and things like that, so. Uh, that's not your thing but um i i do normally do um i this is sort of in a this is somewhat by a more quasi like asmr reading type thing which i tend to do and um uh uh uh, sh uh but uh and i sometimes occasionally do some seeing but ten oh what can we chicken let's see it says you're um, playing... Oh, Clock Tower. Oh, um... Yeah, I was about to ask. So, yeah, the the horror... Uh, the, the, the original of that horror series of games. Um... Uh... That's really cool. Um... Yeah, that's a really good game. That would be a really good play, October... I haven't played it myself, but I've heard like, um, or as kind of like rundowns of it. Um, and, uh, uh, it, uh, it's just like an interesting game, or a really interesting game. Um, especially there's like a whole crap ton of, uh, uh of, uh, endings, it seems. Only published in Japan with English fan subs. Uh, I thought there was, like, at least eventually, like, one. Maybe it was, like, a re-release or something. Of it. But that's cool. Have you gotten very far in it, or? Have you died a couple times yet? That's one of those types of games where it's uh um uh one of those games where it's like there's a lot of different ways to die. <laughs> yeah, we died. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It, did you were you able to finally get figure out were you able to figure out how to get like a a good ending or a good ish or an okay ending <laughs> around about five to six hours oh yeah okay we had the b ending okay that's specifically i'm not sure what that was like is that like the that one of the better ones or whatever? Is that one of the ones where your character makes it out alive or can't remember? But uh, yeah, she was alive at the end. Oh, okay, well that's. Good. As good you were able to pull it off. Hmm. I guess. Um. So, uh. Okay, man, we just learned about that Tomitake son died, which is the photographer guy. By. Apparently, he clawed out his. Own, he was attacked at some point, and then. By some groups and then but then clawed out its own throat so yay
The tense mood was cut with the man's hearty laugh. That's how it must be, my Barasan. Cooperation from individuals in Hinamazawa who don't believe in the curse is indispensable. Understand? Neither Tomotake-san nor I believed in curses. The way things were going, we just ended up with Tomotake-san's death marking the fifth year. Which would mean that Hinamizawa had rejected Tomotake-san. That was something I couldn't allow. Tomotake-san was one of us. He didn't live in Hinamizawa, but he came every single year. And since he was more of a resident than I was, no way that Tomotake-san could have been, been cursed by Orishira-sama. <laughs> sorry the boobs are not around right now I'm, I'm sorry chicken there's nothing I can do to help no idea what happened that night either oh no if you see or hear any, something that draws your attention then that is enough I see you're here I was talking in the future since oh thank you things are people or rumors anything is fine don't care if you're there unfounded. Here, this is my number. If I'm not there, then just leave a message with whoever picks up. He handed me a piece of paper with his number on it, but I hesitated for a second. I took it. Whether or I wanted to or not, be mired knee-deep in this matter. Please, help me solve these questions surrounding Tomotake-san's unfortunate death. Right. Was I hesitating? I needed to find the murderer who killed my friend. I snapped up the piece of paper as a satisfied grin spread across his face. Everything we spoke of today is a secret. Please, keep this confidential. Understood. From your friends as well. Especially from Sonazaki-san and Furuda-san. Please, do not inform them. Sonazaki? You mean Mion? Why? Why are they... Are you saying they have something to do with the incident? My friends brought up so abruptly, being told to keep it a secret from them. I became rather angry. This is what they call investigative privilege, I suppose. Don't play games with me. Mion is a close friend of mine. Snapped at him, but he didn't seem especially offended. Oh, okay. I'm referring to movie Labyrinth. Okay, okay. Uh, let me. See. Let me just. Do actually run off the bat. Um, has it been using my okay? It had been using the mic for my my for my webcam this whole time instead of my. <laughs> Dang it, computer. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Up oh, and All right. I think this is right I like you. Ah, hold on.
No one can blame you for walking away. But too much protection, no love rejection. Life can't be easy, it's not always well. Don't tell me who f her little girl, cause it hurts like hell. But down in the underground, you'll find someone true. Down in the underground, I'll answer in a crystal moon. It's only forever, not long at all. Lost and lonely, that's underground, underground. Daddy, daddy, get me out of here. Ah, 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 I'm underground. Heard about a place today. Nothing ever hurts again. Daddy, daddy, get me out of here. Ah, 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 I'm underground. Sister, sister, please take me down. Ah, 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 I'm underground. No one can blame you for walking away. But too much protection. No love rejection But down in the underground You'll find someone true Down in the underground A land serene A crystal moon It's only it's only forever Not long at all Lost and lonely That's underground Underground Daddy, daddy, get me out of here I heard about a place today Nothing ever hurts again Daddy, daddy, get me out of here Ha, 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 I'm underground Sister, sister, please take me down Ha, 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 I'm underground Daddy, daddy Daddy, daddy, please. Hey, Reaper. Hey. Thank you for stopping by. All right. Glad y'all like that. Uh, oh, no problem. Yeah. And if someone actually, if someone does want to use, um, if y'all happen to want to use those, uh, um, uh, redeems, uh, like, uh, uh, when the karaoke redeems or whatever, uh, feel free to, yeah, y'all feel free to use those any times, um, um, that you'll want. And I'll, 
And also, if you know, especially if someone's just used, you know, that's a good time if you've got a lot of points or whatever. So, oh, you're doing good. Oh, okay, that's good to hear, Reaper. Uh, <laughs> thank you for. Uh, let me see. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I think the one that says that they redeem them. Uh, uh need to DM something. And you get he has a D and B abridged related ed that I'm proud of. <laughs> cool. Yeah, sure, for sure. Hmm. I'll I'll be it I'll definitely be interested to look at that. Uh but what I'm really wanting to see right right lately is um when uh uh the next um If you haven't seen like if you like a if you happen to like a bridge series of stuff, um like look into SAO abridged by um something funny productions. Uh I'm waiting for like the next episode that do it. Uh it's safe to play in chat if you want to use it for yourself. I cut it down to a ten second file. Oh God. <laughs> yes. Nicely. Sorry, six. Oh, okay. oh yeah, sure. Thank you so much for coming by, uh, Malika. Yeah, you have uh, um, yeah, you go to sleep. You have some night, some good sleep there. And she's br brought to you by the Curie Two is always route foundation foundation. Uh, uh, let, let. okay, let me pull that. Let, let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, the yes, the ghost Napa. Uh, I love it. With that, uh, oh, what are you gonna do with it? To redeem someone has, and I'm, and I'm claim. Playing it so that my intro pl plays anytime I come into chat if everything works out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, yes. You're a gremlin, gremlin chaos. <laughs> uh. Uh. Actually, okay. I I guess wait just for one second, just because I gotta get um I need to get um refill my drink. I am out of my drink. Um. So let me see. um. Just give me back. I'll put. I'll go to my BRB screen, but it'll be. I'll have my thing. Uh, it should just take me a get back so all right e
Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me adjust myself. Get back to here. Then. There we go. And want to turn on the. There we go. Wouldn't mind telling you, but it may just upset you. Say it. He hesitated a little, turning his gaze to the outside of the car. He began to speak after thinking a bit. There is a possibility that a string of incidents happening here at Hinamizawa are a result of a village conspiracy. There's no way that could be right. Give me a break. First of all, is there any proof of that? No evidence. Also, in each of the cases were ever solved, and none of the perpetrators had any correct, direct connection to the village. Then how did you come to that conclusion? Every year, the enemies of the village of the, the enemies of the village die on the day of the Wachinagashi. Well, do you think that's enough reason to suspect something? Only the residents of Hinamizawa felt that the day of the Watanagashi was sacred. So basically, because incidents happened on that day, it was somehow related to Hinamizawa? First it was the damn construction foreman, then it was the villager that supported it. Those the village hold a grudge against die, one after the other, from mysterious causes. The means are different, but in the res at the end but in the end the result is the same. Founded on reasonable suspicion. So the the priest didn't really he doesn't really like count of that, especially as really counted that. Um considering they don't I mean, the closest thing or whatever they do is that would, that the connection with the curse was that they didn't do enough good good job of about keeping away the curse. So they don't really quite fit that. Room. That's his thesis is rather slim. I'm just those are just what I'm saying. Supporting of his argument is not that great, but it couldn't just be shrugged off. The so. The, Victims after that, what about the Shinto priest and his wife's death? Exactly. We're <coughs> enemies of the village. <coughs> oh, sorry, hold on one second. Doge got to keep on his being was was being was being a little gremlin. Now Darcy Ling, the channel pet is falling asleep. Who's saying I'm boring? Darcy Ling thinks I'm boring. Darcy, they go over there. I'm boring. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, sleepy head. Anyway. Future expected leadership from the Shinto priest of the dam down at the dam dispute. He wasn't proactive, so there was a faction of the villagers who harbored ill will towards him as a result. A will? Not like he did anything bad to the village. What about the housewife after that? Did she die just because she was the wife of the brother of a supporter? Such a trivial reason to kill someone. What about Tomotake-san? 
not affiliated with the damn project at all. He killed just because he was an outsider? In the beginning, it fell on those related to the damn project. But as years went on, the enemy threshold of the victims had become much lower. Oh, well, that's the scary part. The bar keeps getting lower. What's scary about that it means not just enemies of the village anymore. Being an outsider is enough. Then next year's victim just going to be picked out of the village outsider pool? Might be a person that just moved here. What do you mean by that? I swallowed my words. Here in Hinamizawa, the ones who would be considered the most outside would be my family. I was proof enough of that, wasn't I? Still couldn't really remember the names of the people I passed by. And the next victims, my family, is he saying was going to be me? What does that have to do with me on? Can't go into the details. The Sonozaki family led the damn protests. Quite fervently so. This is also true of Mion Mi Sonozaki herself. She has quite a few misdemeanor and obstruction of public work offenses on her record because of the protests. New Mion knew Mion knew what it meant to fight. The first time I'd heard of her finally leading the protest, though, then, well, what did it all mean? Saying that Mion's family is involved with the string of incidents? I wouldn't go that far. Just saying, if it was a conspiracy, they have the highest probability of being behind it. Very clear explanation. Felt like he mag magnificently avoided the details I really wanted to know. We don't know who or how involved anyone is right now. This is exactly why I don't want you to say anything to the villagers. Instead of answering, I give a very bitter expression. It seemed that he understood it well enough. Then think of it like this. I don't want to worry the villagers who plainly believe it's the curse. How about that? What do you mean, how about that? How should I know? The reasoning behind... The reasoning behind... The reasoning behind me want, wanting me to not carelessly open my mouth about it wasn't too hard to comprehend. The perpetrator was here. And nothing to do with the curse. He was definitely going to be caught by the police, made to pay for his crimes. And none of the villagers should have anything to do with that process. It may cause those sensitive about the curse to just worry needlessly. It's like everyone kept it from me, so I wouldn't worry about it. Now my turn to keep. It's like everyone kept it from me, so I wouldn't worry about it. Is it now my turn to keep it from them, so they don't then not have to worry? just talking to myself. Unlike me, everyone else has been worrying over th these mysterious incidents yearly, and the incident this time probably means a lot more to them. Didn't, I didn't want to burn them anymore. In the end, everything went as the man had wanted. Insipid as it was, but it couldn't be helped. I understand. I'll, I'll keep it to myself. That fine? Um, Mr. Uishi from the Okin... Okin... Okinomiya Police Station. You can call me Kura-chan if you want. But uh, no, Oi Oishi-san is fine. The way he said it was unpleasant. It retained hints of politeness. He was the spitting image of a vulgar police officer. Well, I've never seen one this bulky before in the cop shows I watch. I've taken up too much time. Your friends are waiting, aren't they? They'll probably let you go back to them. The door opened with a click, and in streamed the oppressive heat. It was blistering outside of the car. Is it really this hot of a day? It was an almost cruel heat, as opposed to the mechanical coolness inside the car. It was as if the land of Hinamizawa itself suddenly hated me. I felt a little sad as th that thought crossed my mind. I didn't mean to suspect your friends. Please, don't misunderstand that. I refrained from telling him that it was too late to say something that self-serving. It's fine if you don't see or hear anything, my Barasan. Not proof that the village is not involved. 
I'll contact you if I hear or see anything. I'm no detective. Please don't expect too much from me. I won't. You don't have to become a detective. Go on living as you have unt up until now. Just let me know if you notice anything. I hastily made my way back to the school building after giving him a quick bow. See you later. Farewell, my Barracoon. I returned to the school building without looking back. I don't know how much time had passed. I did be feel bad for keeping them waiting. Right now, there was a lot in my mind. Kentucky's son's death was hard enough as it was, but to think that there was the possibility of a village conspiracy? Or still, it's also a chance that Mion was involved? Munson. Impossible. Not Mion, Reina, Satok, or Rikachan. It's a group that attacks Tomitake-san? Could the perpetrators be? Could it be? They were hiding here? Is that weren't Hinomizawa? I don't know. I'd say for certain was that I knew that Mion couldn't be the perpetrator. Go bed now. Okay. Yeah, you have a good night. You have a good rest. But have a good rest, chicken. Thank you so much for coming by. And thank you so much for the raid. I really super appreciate it. Hmm. It's me, Chan. The perpetrator. Huh? I'm starting to hear Raina's voice. With the rope in the. Um. Lounge. <laughs> nope. N no. Right, a cluster her hand while flit her head while flailing about. It's like you've just you're just self-destructing over here. Wow. Ah, Hey, son, you're quite late. As you may well, as you may well know, I'm seething with anger. Uh, sorry about that. I was called in the staff room, you see. You are reprimanded for bad behavior? It's a shame. Uh, it's been pretty heated over here since it's getting pretty late. Make the next game the last one. I remember, I remember right, I had zero points. They pretty much decided that I'm going to be finishing in last place. Don't worry, Keiichi-kun. I'm, I'm at... Minus one point. Oh. Heck. Her score is lower than mine and I wasn't even playing. This is the final match to decide if the penalty is going to be caught by Reyna al alone or by both Heichan and Reyna. Yeah, right. Just let Reyna do the penalty by herself. You made his promise, Keiichi-kun. To both win. I waited us all this time, you know? You know? Sorry about that. I followed my initial plan of showing Raina my cards. I didn't say who was the criminal and just waited for her, call, her to call. I got it! Murder is me! The poison at the entrance! Is it? Is it? By my Raina, quite a quick answer. Another stab in the dark, in the dark. Oh. Rain is correct. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. It's decided that Keiichi-san should take part in the penalty as well. Hooray! Keiichi-kun, let's both do our best. Yeah, let's do our best. <laughs> My fault, so I have no choice. And that's the game. It's me, Mion Sonazaki, ranked first. And dead last are Keiichi Maibara and Reina Ryugu. Everyone applauded and the game ended. The problem now was the penalty. Now then, I ranked first. I'll decide what you'll be buying for the gopher penalty. Will she make us buy? I wonder. I wonder. Let's blacklist the drugstore. That was your aim, wasn't it? Huh? 
I don't have any business at the drugstore. This old man's already got a list prepared for you on this piece of paper. Oh, there's a lot written here. A lot? What is she making us buy? Two blocks of tofu. Shampoo and conditioner. Apple vinegar and fried tofu. Heck is this? Looks more like a shopping list than a penalty. Me was certain me was certain she was going to win today. Rule seven of our society. You cannot refuse any penalty. Here's some money. The shampoo I usually get is fruit fable. Thanks. This is just your grocery list. I promised myself that if I won next time, I'd make her go buy hemorrhoid cream. Oh, neon. Her shenanigans. Who have received new tips? Are more than fur per for perpetrators? Okay. Apovelomic shock induced by clawing out their own throat. Okay. I know. A major turtle. At least, um, tissue is packed under the nails. Not someone else's nails. Bounding by the individual's own nails. But the scars also matches. Yeah. I know the immediate cause of death was suicide. Get it. Saying the cause of death is unnatural, right? It's kind of like when your back itches and you scratch a little too hard and draw blood. Some of Tomotaki's fingernails had been, been pulled out. It's actually quite simple to pull out one's own nails. It really hurts. In normal circumstances, the pain would prevent you from completely pulling them out. Also, there were a lot of bruises on Tomotaki's body. It's clear from the shape of him that he was assaulted first by someone. Or a group of people. According to the toxicology, the deceased was in an extreme state of hysteria right before death. Then he fought back and clawed out his own throat because of how hysterical he had become. Guys attacking him certainly would have been surprised by that. Possible that in such a normal and a person could perform acts that a sane individual couldn't possibly imagine. Of course, there are, those are very rare cases. Actually, Oishikun. That wood plank the deceased used as a weapon. I only found sand and the paint from the guardrail on it. About cloth fibers or skin. Nothing. The deceased didn't strike the assailants. Or it could be they took the plank he was was fighting back with. In that case, they wouldn't have gone out of their way to replace it with another. They'd take them all. Her, her, her. That's true. Umitake is pretty built and tanned. Quite athletic. Right. He was pretty active. And imagine what kind of sports he did when he was alive. But I think his physical strength would be on the higher side. Meaning, it would be difficult to overpower in a brawl. A man with such a physique since he was in danger and going to plank around quickly. Just unthinkable that it wouldn't even nick the perpetrator. The opponent and his opponent was unarmed. This guy had a wooden plank. Then you'd think he'd hit him at least once. To surround and take down someone of his physique. Wonder how many people it would take. Damn what? You should know better than anyone. You've forgotten your bad cop days? If I was to take down this guy's how many would I need? 
The group wants to take down Big Prey. Fundamental to attack with numbers. Guess about four. Even if there was a gap in their strength, they'd manage. Then there were quite a few perpetrators. The Winnie Drunk and surely groups of more than four are suspicious. A group of four or more. Just, they had that many. They could... Then couldn't they have hidden the body in a less obvious location? Did they somehow break away from that fatal predicament? Then there would be no reason to commit suicide. Moreover, I still can't comprehend the regular way he died. Full of mysteries. That's under serious consideration on my end, too. I'll be examining as thoroughly as possible. Don't get your hopes up. After all, I've never encountered a death like this before. Not hoping for much. But I am looking forward to the results. Oishi san, Chief is calling you. Thanks, see you around. Yeah, best wishes. Search noted. Hiro Tomotake, deceased. Side in Chief Hotel in Chishibon. Bone City, registered under the name Jiro Tomatake. Hint. Name travels via folding bike. The license. Bicycle found 300 meters away, abandoned at the side of a forest path. Present on the day of the festival, seen by the missing Bio Takano. Oh. Okay, so that's the name of that lady that is. Bio Takano. Was seen around 9 p.m. by police. Location afterwards unknown. Held residents in Himazawa for one week each season for the last five to six years. Freelance photographer specializing in wild birds. Check with magazine. Nothing suspicious in the film located among the articles of the deceased. What well, was among the articles of the deceased? Silence. From the contents of his wallet, he spent most of his time around Tokyo and Chiba. Along the Sobu National Railway Line. No windshield matching the name Hirotake in the resident records of any of the Tokyo wards. Hair teeth to dental records. Or police. Photo. Metro police. Contacting Mazagin... Contacting magazines regarding Jiro, Jiro Tomitake. So wait, so he wasn't on any... It said he wasn't... Re there, he wasn't listed as registered. registered. But he should be. Then why wouldn't he wouldn't have... He has no place of residence. Tokyo, even though he left for the... Goes back to specifically he's for the city when he's not. So what's he doing out of, like... The other... All the other... What's he doing the rest of the year if he only spends, like, four weeks in... He only spends four weeks away, basically, from wherever he would... Apparently what he said is what he that he would look It's a kind of missing nurse at Ray Clinic. Those are that Taka through her passion for wild bird photography. Resides in Okino Okinomiya District Blank. Single witness accompanying Tomataka on the festival grounds currently missing. Acted? Or maybe a suspect. Important person of interest. No motive to kill the deceased. Wobble from jealousy. You need to thoroughly to investigate the relationship. Place of work. To get information from the police on scene again. I want some cream puffs. Or jumbo ones. Oh, Ishii. Huh. Just so weird. So in other words, there's a whole bunch of like that's very suspicious about those two. I'm gonna talk well about Tomotake anyway.
there's obviously some weird stuff going on that would cause him to do like or go out like that there's the although there's the assumption he was attacked and then the assumption that it was basically because he was that it would have would have taken that because of how like strong it was and that there wasn't anyone like jerk but it as far as because they were trying to match like the injuries that he received of bruises and stuff like that hmm Oh yeah, that's a... very bizarre to say the least. Ugh. <laughs> Get back to this music. Oh. All right. So let's see. 